Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dick McMackey. Welcome to the JWA After Hours here at the JWA Compound. Ladies and gentlemen, our next match is a timed event. I will be keeping track on my cellular device. Are you ready for some more wrestling? It will be a 10 minute time limit brawl between two amazing wrestlers. Ladies and gentlemen, from Jamesville, Wisconsin, weighing in at 212 pounds, let's hear it for Alex. Hi and hello pro wrestling fans, welcome to another edition of JWA After Hours at the JWA Compound. I am your host, the voice of the JWA, Matt Marbury, and we are set for a good one here. Jack Carpenter versus Alex Bernardino, referee Getch in the ring, he's going to call it right down the middle, and we're about to get underway. Lock up in the center of the ring. Both men jockeying for position. Alex Bernardino's got the arm. Carpenter, the working class hero, works his way right out of that one. And he's in control now. Bernardino with a flip as he gets by the rope. Who knew he had that in him? him over with a snap mare and Bernardino's in control of this one now tell him Getch to ask him I think it's a little too early for that but you never know Carpenter now with the headlock some good mat wrestling early on Bernardino throws him off the ropes. Jack comes back, knocks into him, goes for a pinning attempt. No, it's another headlock. And Bernardino turns that into a pinning attempt, but only gets a one count. It's a bit of a stalemate here. Both of these guys working hard. Jack Carpenter pandering for the camera. Ooh, we're going to get a test of strength here. I like it. Oh, looks pretty even thus far. We'll see what happens. Oh, it looks like both guys have the same idea. And Carpenter bringing Bernardino to the ground. Oh, he hops on top of him. Trying to get those shoulders on the mat. Bernardino gets the knees up. And he's back up and he flips him over. They still are locked at the hands though. I can't believe this. Alex with the better position now. It's like he's going to tie Jack Carpenter up like a pretzel. Oh, slaps him. Here we go. Really working each other over here. It's like a, a modified abdominal stretch kind of thing. Another pinning attempt only gets a one count. Both these guys fresh as a daisy still at this point. Bernardino goes for a single leg. Jack stops it, hopping around on one foot. He gets to the ropes. Bernardino with a dragon screw. They say if a guy can't stand, he can't fight. So it's a pretty good strategy. Jack lobbying for a little bit of time. Getch trying to keep the two men separated. And Jack says he's ready. Smashes Bernardino's head into the turnbuckle. Wright's raining down right hands. That knee's still bothering him. Oh. 
Irish whip into the corner. And here comes Jack Carpenter. No, Bernardino lifts him up to the outside. And a kick to the head by Jack. Spear on the way in, goes for the pin. Only gets a two. minutes ago these guys both look fresh as a daisy not anymore they both look a little worse for wear the technical aspect has also gone out the window a little bit as they just keep raining down right hands on one another the Irish whip reversed Carpenter's in the corner here comes Bernardino up and over what's he gonna do with it oh a clothesline and just start stomping a mud hole, an elbow drop. Another elbow from Alex. Looks like he's got this one well in hand, goes to the pin, one, two, only a two count. Can't believe he got that shoulder up there. All right, here we go. Alex continues to work that leg, keep the man on his, off of his vertical base, I should say. Another knee. I would not be surprised if Jack Carpenter gave up right now. Live to fight another day, man. Writhing in pain. Bernardino pulling him back into the middle of the ring. Raining down more kicks on that injured leg. Looks like he's going for a figure four. No, Jack Carpenter reverses it. Alex into the turnbuckle. Face first into the second turnbuckle. And this might be the opening that Jack Carpenter needs to get something going here. Oh, Alex slides underneath and Jack eats the turnbuckle now. And once again, Bernardino pulling him to the center of the ring and working those legs of Jack Carpenter. I don't know how he's gonna walk out of this one. Goodness. Alex picking him up by one leg. Oh, the pressure. Slamming that knee down. I'm telling you, I don't know how Jack Carpenter walks after this match. A snap there out of the corner by Alex Bernardino. What's he gonna do now? Oh, just a good old fashioned punch to the back. That's what he's gonna do now. Going for the pin again. One, two. Only a two count from Getch. Just can't keep the working class hero down, apparently. Here we go, Bernardino off the ropes. Jack Carpenter. Ooh, schoolboy only gets a two count. That might have been his last effort, you know what I mean? Here we go, he's got one more in him. Going for a backslide, apparently. Here he goes, one, two, only a two count. Alex rolls out of that one as well. Alex takes him down with one leg and just starts working over that leg again with kicks. And here we go, this is what he wanted earlier, I believe. Looks like he's setting him up for the figure four leg lock. And with all of the punishment that has been done to his leg, I don't see how he doesn't tap out in this hold. Here he goes, writhing in pain. Alex, there you go, dropping more fists onto that injured knee. Jack doesn't seem like he wants to submit. His shoulders are down, the ref's not counting. Jack Carpenter inching closer to the ropes and he's got him. I can't believe he got out of that one. Alex reluctant to let go, but he's got to or he'll be disqualified. And once again, Alex just pulling Jack Carpenter into the center of the ring, working over the leg. That's been his MO for this entire match. Pick a body part, work on it. It's been the legs of Jack Carpenter getting worked on. Two minutes remaining. Dick McMackey letting us know that two minutes remain in the time limit for this match for JWA After Hours.
Both these guys are going to have to work quickly if they want a decision in this one. Oh, back body drop from Carpenter to Bernardino, but he's on his feet first. He's taken a lot less damage in this one than Jack has. Getch starting the count. Bernardino's on his feet at two. Carpenter on wobbly legs, blocks a right hand and delivers one of his own. Another one. And a third one, four. He keeps going. A little momentum on Carpenter's side here. Irish whip into the ropes. Knocks Bernardino to the mat. Only one minute to go in this one. Let's see if we'll have a decision. Jack Carpenter looking for a, oh, a neck breaker. Here we go with the pin. Oh, just a two count. Bernardino kicks out just in the nick of time. I don't know how much time's left, but it's, it can't be much. Well, there you go. Dick McMackey telling us it's 30 seconds. Both of these guys are going to have to work at a phonetic pace if they're going to get something done here. Sunset flip into the pin. And just a two count once again. Bernardino with the single leg again. Here we go. He's getting him back into that figure four. I don't know if he's got enough time. He's only got to hold on for another couple seconds, but I don't know if he can. He's really ranking on that knee. And the bell rings, and this match has gone to a time limit draw. I am sure neither guy is happy with this decision. Referee Getch saying that it is indeed a draw. Both these guys gave it their all. Well, there you go, fans. We got a time limit draw. Thank you for joining us on this edition of JWA After Hours. Be sure to check out the YouTube page. There's going to be a lot more videos coming. Round of applause for both of these guys, though. And respect shown. A little reluctantly by Alex, but respect shown nonetheless. Just a little reminder to like, share, and follow the JWA.